Hey folks, how are you doing? Let us know in the comments. I don't know. Anyway, uh, for a second it kind of looks like Blaze was just floating. Or, or, oh, okay. Are we in the last story? I can't remember. Oh, we're on the last story. We're just the last half of uh, Silver's. I was like, I was just like, wait a minute, did it just freeze on me? Oh yeah, and you have to like, it's like a random sneak mission? Random stealth? How do you do stealth in this game? I, they didn't. How, how do? Great. That. <laughs> That's how you do it. That was like two seconds. You know, I get the feeling that that part was, like, unfinished or something. <laughs> what do you think about that, Sylvester? There we go. So we intro the stage. Just to watch it flow. Right, you know how radical that train is? So we haven't quite made fr made up with Sonic yet. We haven't made away. out with Sonic yet. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't quite got to that part of the game. <laughs> uh, I just kind of woke up. I was just, I was taking a nappy poo and just... oh yeah, gotta get rid of uh that thing. Um. Didn't sleep a lot, a lot last night, so I just ended up uh, <coughs> taking a nap, and then, and then Andrew came and ruined the entire vibe. <laughs> Naps are gay. <laughs> so uh, it's been it's been a, about a little over, yeah it's been about a couple of weeks or so. Wait, now I need the boxes. Okay, that, that was good. I think it's like uh, that. Okay, yeah, that's right. Great. Zelda Minish Cat, which is one I've barely even played. I've actually had that game on my 3DS for a while. I actually have it on my GBA. Well, aren't you how much you spend on it? Uh, yeah, I bought it years ago, so I had oh. it 30 bucks. Oh. Well, let's say, because I know that game can be quite expensive. Yeah. yeah. You know what game isn't as expensive as I expect it to be is A Link to the Past. Probably has been re-released in several different ways. Oh, yeah. What about the, uh, what about, uh, what was it, Four Swords on GBA? I think I used to have that? I can't remember. Because I know it also came with a, uh, a Link to the Past on it. Yeah, that's true. I know, years ago, we used to have a copy of, uh, of the Four Swords on GameCube. I had that. I didn't like it. That's why I got rid of it. What are you talking about? It's perfect! It's... Do you happen to have a GBA charger around here? Apparently, mine's not charged. Huh. My light just uh, went red. somewhere in here. I'm... The... GBA batteries... I thought I'd replaced mine, but maybe I hadn't, because it just seems to die <laughs> quickly. Okay, the box just wants to be bouncy right now. There's no other way ahead. I guess I've got to break down the door. Yeah. Oh, wait. Like this? Okay, not like that. Okay, I do have to use the the bounces. Um. 
I have to find all the Dragon Balls. You know, you look at the Zelda timeline, technology never seems to advance. But there's literal generations and generations. What um, the heck? It just it's representative of Nintendo being stuck in the past in some ways. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I'm sure it's like a case of they probably wanted to do something. Because remember, originally they were going to have it also be like in the future or something. Like, uh, it was a past, present, future. But then it was like, but now since they set it up, they're like, no, 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 no future. Oh, yeah, I imagine. They're like, no, 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 no progression. Although, didn't Breath of the Wild do some things a little differently? Other than gameplay? Like, in terms of, like, timeline and all that? Uh. It's. I've not played Tears of the Kingdom, but Breath of the Wild is very much a world in ruin. Yeah. But there's nothing to do technology wise. Well, those are those robot things. Like, I mean, they're not like. The Guardian said. They're not electronic, necessarily. Yeah. Would you call this part a train wreck? I'll call it. Yeah, so I saw Beetlejuice 2 on Friday. Uh huh. It was alright. I need to rewatch the first one. I ain't seen it in ages. I ain't either, but. Um. I'm just gonna say the first one's probably better. <laughs> I still need to rewatch it again, but like, it, it just seemed better. I've only seen it once, maybe twice. I'll have to wait to make sure also, Juno Ortega's like 22, 23 years old. Why does she still look 12? <laughs> Wait, the. Juno Ortega, I don't know what role she plays in this, but she does. She's the one. She's got her big break being Wednesday in that Wednesday show. Oh. Uh, I wonder if she's that. Um, I didn't actually pay attention to the actor names. So I already forgot. Some of them, like, uh, some of them that were there. Uh, I'm assuming she was, like, the teenage daughter or whatever. You go, baby. Um, the teenage daughter of, uh, one of the writer's character. See, I don't even want to remember all the characters. See, I can't remember who plays what. I just, I, I mainly just know Michael Keaton as, uh, uh, as Beetlejuice. Okay, so Jenna Ortega is almost 22. The point is, she still looks like she's about 12. Well, that's probably why she can play a teenager then. <laughs> if I think that's supposed to be how old she was supposed to be. It was like was easy. high school age or something like that. Huh? What are you doing? It's like all those kitty instincts. Take him over. <laughs> when he heard something move, he had to look for it. Yeah. <laughs> We've already seen that cutscene. Even with the, the here I come. The extended shadow cut. So shadow cut. I don't know. I just kind of thought of that. You know, I started think. I started oh, looking at my cat. at my uh, toys that I got from that I got for Christmas years ago, like my Shadow and Sonic toys, like plush toys. <sighs> yeah, like last Christmas. <laughs> he just fell. I know. Um, no. I'm gonna take you down, Faker. Faker? I think I'm the Wait a minute. So... Okay, that's just like... So essentially, it, they, they let them have moves that you can't do with... The, you know, mm. suddenly Silver can't, you know, isn't as powerful as like... You know... When you uh, are doing this fight, will you grab that Charger? I'm playing it, why can't you get it? I don't know where it's at, every time I try to find it, you get me at it. Yeah, it's in the living room. Really? Fine, no. I'll go get it. No. Just in case you're wondering, I don't remember exactly how to do the fight entirely properly. 
so. Ah! No. <laughs> so he just does that. No. <laughs> Ow. Ah! Shadow go. Where in the world is Shadow the Hedgehog? That's just so funny. It's just the way he's just... No! Like, whenever he does that, that twirling move, his, his response is a Yaw! or something like that. It's no! <laughs> no! Die! Um... So I'll look back at my... Uh... No. My Sonic and, and Shadow toys from my plush toys from whenever I was like nine or ten years old. And, um, and it got me thinking, like, because I remember trying to look at Big Blue. Okay, so at one point I started thinking, because I started, I started looking around. I can't remember if I started thinking it before or after, but. You know, I know that there's, like, Chinese knockoff toys that, like, you know, that don't look... The ones that, like, you know, they're Chinese knockoffs, but they don't look that bad or that much that far off. Right. But, um... I started to want... I think I either started wondering before or after, but I was looking at my toys, I was like, I wonder if these are Chinese knockoffs. Because I started looking, tried to look for duplicates of the, uh... Of the, uh, um... No. Oh, that's good. Um, I started looking for duplicates of the, uh, um... Of the toys. Like, like, you know, look on eBay. And try to look for, um... No. Try to look for, uh, you know, like, see what, see what they go for now. See how expensive they are now. But I couldn't find any exact copies. I couldn't exact. I couldn't find any exact. Do you know exact uh, things? Uh, I've seen some that look similar, but not the same. So that got me wondering. You know, oh shoot! I wonder if these are like custom made in some way. You know. Where did we even get them out? I don't remember. Uh, it was like eBay. I think may okay, Sonic might be official. No. And I may have just not found it, but like Shadow I I have yet to find any kind of duplicate of the Shadow Plush I have. So that leads me to believe it's probably a custom made or some kind of Chinese knockoff toy. Um but of course when I got it as a kid, I mean was I gonna care as long as it looked close enough to Shadow? <laughs> I went to a fair this past week and they had gigantic Shadow plushers. Huh. Why didn't you give me one? <laughs> they were at least two feet tall. <laughs> so about, so almost, so almost life size for Shadow. <laughs> for Shadow's character. Um. Huh. Do they look official? Or did you? I'm get not it? sure. Okay. But uh, but yeah, that, that's what I was just like. Whenever I was um looking at those, and I was just wondering, I was like, you know, I, I'm wondering, 
I might pull, like, I got some pictures of them, and I'm like, I'm wondering if I should post these somewhere, somewhere where they could, you know, like, hey, uh, does anyone know if these are, you know, real, or, or, or if these are official, or if they were, like, somewhere else. I'm sure I could have known if I had kept the tags on it, but we always cut the tags off of our flushes just to, just because they were in the way and we wanted to play with them. So, that could have helped, knowing what it, you know. But anyway, I want to watch this before I skip it, just because I want to see it again. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see that. <sighs> just skipping, just skipping scenes that we've already like seen on the scene, kids, and the <laughs> aquatics base, aquatic. A laboratory like this under so young. Well, we are getting pretty darn close to the, uh, I think, okay, so we have, like, this level, um, then we have the, uh, the Kingdom Valley, and then I think we, uh, then we go to the Flame Core, or whatever it's called, it's the last one for Silver. But first we play a Shadow early on the level. You go, and leave the rest to me. The why do we even play a Silver? Oh, because you play a silver for the second half of the level. I, I, uh, I... Anyway, look, Shadow. Oh, well, that just strange me. I think I, I need to clarify that, like, whenever I say that this game is, is uh, okay at best and kind of bad at worst, uh, I should probably clarify what I mean is if you want to rank out of 10, at best it's like a 6. Um, and at worst it's a uh, 4. Or at maybe, worst it's a 0. <laughs> it's one of the 10 worst games ever. ever. Yeah, I think a lot of people are pretty much, you know, I mean, there's still some websites that are just like, that are just like, no, it's still one of the worst of all time. And uh, we're, I'll be looking out for your truths. Well, that's why I don't do it. <sighs> I feel like the one was like from Yakuza, and it starts with the scene. Dude's holding a gun to another guy, and it says uh, the caption is, "I'll never skip a cutscene again." And he skips a cutscene, and it gets the next bit of gameplay, and it's like all the Yakuza guys in go karts racing. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the same thing with like a, a Spider-Man, like a a Insomniac. Spider-Man game, uh, first one, mm -hmm. where um, it starts out with like they're celebrating at this event. I, I think it's like I think it's like that. Like it starts out at this event, everyone's happy, everyone's just watching. You know, uh, uh, either Miles or Miles' dad getting presented. With, I think it was Miles' dad, uh, Miles Morales' dad, uh, getting presented with an award. Mm -hmm. And then you skip the if you skip that cutscene, mm -hmm. it goes to another part of a cutscene that's like everything is all devastated, Spider Man's like knocked out, it's just like all this stuff, you know. <laughs> and then the video was uh, I'll never skip another, you know. That's a game that I thought was fine. Um, I got bored. I think it was, I think the thing was it was just like. It, they, it, they acted like it was just a completely different Spider-Man game, and I was like, it's kind of the same thing, though. <laughs> it's like nearly all the other Spider-Man games. Spider-Man, I guess you could say, games. Um, that's why sometimes I, I try to look out for the Spider-Man games where you're just not constantly just swinging around New York. It's like, that's cool and all. It makes it feel like Spider-Man, but like... 
it kind of makes the games feel samey. Like, yeah, you, have, you might have different stories, different types of missions, and maybe slightly, slightly different gameplay, but, like, so many of them, you're just swinging around New York, and, and it's just, like, kind of kind of feels a little samey there. And, uh, I, I've heard some kind of mixed things about the, about Spider-Man, the, the Somniac, the sequel, Spider-Man 2 game. Oh, shoot. Okay. But, um... <laughs> that box just went... Vroom, vroom, vroom. Did you come back over here, box? Okay. Alright, I'll just get it from over there then, I guess. Maybe. Or, or maybe I can open the door now. Yeah, okay. Well, that'll be useful soon. There, there's one, uh, scene someone have pointed out. It's like, in Zelda Twilight Princess, if you skip the cutscene, when he start, uh, starts as a human, and then the next scene, he is a wolf in prison. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I'm a little freaked out about like when, when Zelda went edgy like that. Because it was still a constrained edgy. Yeah. Uh, Zelda got their T rated. Zelda got the uh, Zelda games got their T rated games. Anyway, I've seen other people. I've, not too many, but I've seen other people say they wish that. Shadow the Hedgehog with a, with a full T rating, or you know, like the would have kept the content that would have made it T rated. Um, because like, well, here's my thing: is that like people are already complaining about this, about it being edgier and darker. I was like, well, if they're gonna complain anyway. You might as well just went full edge. <laughs> but, the Sonic games need to be edgier. Why is this Sonic game edgy? Yeah. <laughs> Sonic games need to be this way. Why did they change it this way? You know. Sonic games need to do something new. Why is it different? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, basically. You know, I think I think uh, I think that was the reason none of the doors were open. I was trying to go back and then. Um, um, um. <sighs> Yeah, it seems like it's basically how it is, it's just... It's, uh, it needs to change. Why did it change? Or it's like whenever people were asking for the Boost Formula game playback. And then when they showed it, at um... Like, the Sonic Force was gonna have it. They were like, but I don't like the Boost Formula! <laughs> I remember seeing the picture where it was like... It had the, it had the, oh, it down there. Um, it had the, uh, let's see, what was it, uh, the Spongebob thing where, where the kid was, uh, saying, like, but I don't like the statue, you know, the ice cream, is like, and why did you ask for it? Yeah, so that was basically Sonic Forces going back to the boost formula. It was different, it was slightly different, like, a modified version of it, but, um, it was like, yeah, it was like, but I don't like Boost Formula. Then why did you ask for it? I think the Boost Formula gameplay is... I've said it before. It's definitely something that, like, really depends on the level design and, like, it has to get exactly... Because Sonic Generations was, like, the, is, like, the best Boost Formula Sonic game. Because it is mainly due to the level design being really good. Um, that's still one game we need to play. I think at this point we'll probably end up playing it after, after uh, Sonic and Shadow Generations comes out. Um, those enemies look like they're guarding that door. Let's start by getting rid of them. Let's start getting rid of them. Let's kill them. Really love the way he said it. Folks. We will be right back. 
and we're, we're back. back. So, um, just to watch it fall. Yeah. I was telling Andrew this really significant thing that everyone will care about. I set up hotkeys on my uh, thing when I record. I haven't actually done that yet until recently. So there's. There's a, you know, the lawful, neutral, and chaotic. Lawful, neutral, or, or, or a good, neutral, and evil, like the alignment square. Yeah. Lawful good is Larry Boy. Neutral good is Larry. <laughs> chaotic good is Mr. Potato Head when he had to be attached to like a cucumber or something. I forgot which movie that was in. Uh, uh, three. Lawful neutral is a pack of Pacos, which I'm thinking is just some kind of pickle. <laughs> True neutral is the pickle Patrick is holding. <laughs> Chaotic neutral is pickle Rick. <laughs> Lawful evil is Kevin, the jellyfish enthusiast. Oh yeah, the sneaky jumper. Neutral evil is some pickle that some veggie tails that had boxing gloves. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Goliath. And chaos. Oh, is Goliath the yeah. jumper? <laughs> Chaotic evil. Is the Larry Boy ripoff holding a gun to one of the girls from drawing together? Oh yeah, or the the yeah, when I had the parody of the that show was so dumb at drawing together. I just want to find the clip where all those where there's there's if I could just remember it, I, I didn't see the rest of the episode. All I saw was the clip where. There, this teacher's been evil or something, and all these, all her like, Dude, you know, so just walk up. They just walk up to her, and all of a sudden she's just like torn apart. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the content or the, you know, the like. I know what you're talking about. I remember that. You can't find where to. Uh, you just find the. I wish I knew where to watch the show and try to find it. I wonder if they had a whole, a whole series or something at uh, store we go to. But they're, they're trying to, because you're looking for it, um, they're after you now outside. There's like a siren going off outside. <laughs> But you at least remember what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that, yeah. I can't remember if the teacher was evil, or if it was just like... Or if it was just like, there, there was something that set the kids off to tear her apart. So for all this your first clue when you saw a bunch of water? This was underwater? Does it seem like Echo makes a makes a cameo here somewhere? Unless I'm thinking of uh, the race, one of the racing games. Too bad at least the first Echo would all be normal. Like the Echo is just it was way too cryptic on how you're supposed to complete it. Go to the no. Oh. No, I don't want to allow that over here. I killed him. I killed him. Yeah, I'm thinking you're supposed to bring that ball over here, but let's see if I can do it without that. I broke it. Guarding that door. Let's start by getting rid of them. <laughs> hey, this coin is like me. It's silver. All right. Silver and hey, dog. Ah. 
Like such a, like a almost professional job at it to try and get to this ATM from below or somewhere like that to get the money from the ATM outside of Blockbuster. And hey, what are you doing? You've got to leave. What are you doing? I have my duty. This living flame has been entrusted to the royal family. The flames of disaster will awaken if nothing is done. So now it's to be Santa Claus. I'm going to curse my daughter. Or granddaughter, or whatever. She looks, more, she looks more like a granddaughter than a daughter, but, you know. Eternal Son. The living flame that has been entrusted to the royal family. I am a robot. Fall into slumber with a royal soul. Burn her alive. It's not my business. I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> it's like, man, saving the world wasn't really worth all this. Though. <laughs> That's a good girl, Elise. Remember, Let me be brave. Wave my cry my hand above your head without touching it. Your tears will call forth the flames inside you, and you will kill us all. Become a strong queen doesn't cry no matter what happens yes she's still something tissue so you can cry yeah happily mm. you just hear <laughs> you're just asleep <laughs> No, <laughs> that's kind of the thing it did, but it didn't. They didn't say anything. <laughs> well, that was just kind of the 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 vibe of the scene. Did you do it? Yes. And you? Yes. The flames are properly sealed. It's done. They're now going or or or. Because they're sealed. Here's a safe place. <laughs> Here's a toy for her to play with. <laughs> You're going to leave it behind? Yes. I already know what becomes of it in the future. Hope you can keep up with me. It's time to return. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Chaos control! 
Hold on, we were off there. All right, hold on. Let's try again. Off course. Yes. Here's the ex- here's the silver extended cut. It would extended be really silver. funny if, for like kid Elise, they just took the model for adult for I guess adult or they just shrunk it. Yeah, <laughs> just shrunk it. <laughs> Make it really weird. It's like. No, make it really weird. Have some part of the story about at least being born. Make it like badly made where like, you know, they show from behind and she comes out and she's already got the dress on. Yeah. It's just a baby sized version of her adult self. Yeah. <laughs> like the cereal. It's a lucky charm. Like this I was watching a live stream, and, uh, <coughs> watching one of uh, Mu Emmy's live streams, and her boyfriend said that. Like she, she, uh, when he said that, uh, she goes, "Oh, you know." She's Aww. like invested in the scene, and then like he's like, "Like the cereal or something." Like that. She's like, "Stop!" You know, <laughs> "Stop!" Uh. Yeah. Huh. <sighs> Silver, where have you been? Blaze. <sighs> no. What did you see? Meow. Meow. What did you see, Meow? It would be really funny to do like a redub of this game. Sonic and then just every time Blaze talked, just go meow. Yeah. Meow. <laughs> Crowd of people noise. <laughs> That's what it said. Quite noisy. Yes. I heard that the princess here left for Dr. Eggman's base in response to his earlier threat. What if his ultimate objective was to release Iblis? The Iblis trigger? That's triggering. What do we do? We, we go that way, but not too fast. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a nice day. We just walk in. Stop Dr. Eggman's plans. Look at all those Eggman's robots. <laughs> So I like how a couple things Eggman, no matter what. people really Let's go after oh, let me go let me go see if there's anything in the shop. Uh I like how the things that people really want. Let's go stop him! <laughs> just the casual music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just not dun 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 yeah. dun dun. It's just oh you know. Yeah. It's a nice day. Blaze, let's grab some coffee before we uh, let's get a cup give of this coffee. Like, you know, get a little caffeine in us. Maybe a couple of monsters or a. Uh... Can't remember which one I have and what I don't have. Okay, well, <laughs> apparently, apparently, I'm good. A couple of monsters. Yeah, you know, <laughs> maybe a Celsius. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I like the way Blaze runs. Just. Yeah. Um. This <laughs> is big. Does that at the same time? Where he just goes moo, <laughs> moo, <laughs> moo. Okay, I guess I'm doing this mission. <sighs> Protect at Anna. She knows the secret. Uh, oh, if it was like a question mark, she knows the secret. She knows the secret. But what secret is it? Hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get a scorter. I know the I know the drill. Um Oh yeah, so what I was getting at earlier was this okay, so these people were trying to steal the this uh the ATM machine, the the uh, automated teller ATM machine um, from behind uh, from from behind uh, the uh, blockbuster there and then uh, well as they're doing that you know uh, well after they do all that and they finally take it that after like months or something like that happened it had like it hadn't been refilled yet, so it had like six thousand pounds, which was, you know, not a not a little amount, 
but the guy, but the guy in the video was basically showing that like they could have earned that much through like a minimal wage job, the amount that it, you know. <coughs> um. So like, it was very pointless, I guess, or it was just like was not worth the crime. And considering that they probably had to buy all the equipment to do it, they probably ended up losing money in the crime anyway. Oh. And then there was like another one where it was like, uh, someone, someone tried to, uh, was, there was like three of them, so like the second one was, uh, they had to, um, uh, or this, this guy was being pulled over and he had a court date, and he pretended to be a, his blind twin brother who stood there in his place to try and get off easy, and like... But it was so dumb because, like, he ended up with more charges, and you know, oh. and um, Lord, I hope that. Let's see, at least she, at least she knows to like hide somewhere sometimes. Sometimes, um, but uh, but yeah. So that happened, and then the third story was this guy who, uh, um, when he came to America, uh, well, he was, he was collecting these Lego, he was apparently had an obsession with, like, Legos, Lego bricks and stuff, Lego sets, and especially the Star Wars ones. Well, he ended up, uh, well, what he did was he ended up, um, just, like, uh, deciding to try and get them at he technically didn't. He technically didn't steal them in terms of like not paying any money at all. What he did was he made his own barcodes and made them a lot cheaper for himself. And uh, and like you know he saved a bunch of money, but it's revealed that like by the time he got arrested, he was the vice president of some company where he could have just bought them legitimately. Uh huh. Like. Like, he, he, he would have no problem with buying legitimately, but he still was trying to, like, you know... So, and then he ended up losing his job there when he got, you know, arrested and stuff. And for the crimes, and it's just like... <laughs> you think about stuff like that, uh, of course, I've heard one time, like, years ago, I heard this video talking about, like, a... Like, someone was so dumb where they called the bank and said they were gonna rob him when he gets over there. <laughs> So obviously the police were called <coughs> way before then. Can you guys stay open later so I can rob you? I was like, oh, well, what time will that be? Uh, so I got, I got a two, I got a two o'clock um, opening. <laughs> Sorry, Cash completed the trials. Silver, if you wish to pursue Eggman, you must complete the trials too. Head to the forest from the from this gate. What if I don't really want to? What if I just decided that you were just a really dumb guy and I went past all of them? <laughs> what if it forgot the apostrophe S yes, and what if it said, like, Do stop Dr. Eggman plans? Or, uh, or they put the apostrophe S yes in, in the plans instead of Eggman. It's like Dr. Eggman's uh, plans. Plan, uh, plan is. Yes. <laughs> Tony Hawk? Younger Tony Hawk. <laughs> so, I got to see Ludacris, like the rapper, in concert the other day. Well, that's pretty ludicrous. Wow. <laughs> I didn't like it, but it's because I don't like rap. I don't think the guy can't rap. That I just makes don't you, like rap. That makes you a racism. Uh, rap is only for black people. Apparently. Okay, <laughs> that's fair. Except for Eminem, he's the token white. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like Silver. It's like uh, when he's running and then he sees something exciting. Whoa! He's just like, whoa! That's exciting. But I'm worried. Whoa! But Whoa. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to save it right now. No, you're not. Oh, shoot. Hey. Hey. 
test of friendship. Are you ready for the trial? Yeah. Listen, older blonde Harry Potter. What? I don't know. Does he had the glasses like Harry Potter? He was a white guy with glasses like Harry Potter. Oh, are you trapping my friend Blaze? Do you even have a Japanese game series if you don't have a game that starts out with a fair? <laughs> I mean, it's about half of them. Save Blaze who has been captured. It's like, you know, why are we doing these trials if, uh... Um... It's like, you, you captured my friend. We, we need to go save the world, but you're busy over here capturing a kitty. She's <laughs> just going... You could have some kind of weird, way too detailed, like, cat mod where Blaze is the case of caught, like, licking her paw or something. At the yeah. Train the house. <laughs> but then you're like... You spent too much time on this. Like, it's too good. Did you enjoy it too much? Yeah. <laughs> see here. Or she says, I need, I need to be real real quick. And then, you know, the real cat. Grab these worms real quick. How to eat fried worms? I remember that book. I've never seen that, but I never read it. I mean, I didn't either. I think the teacher read it. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> she starts purring. Hey. Great! What about like that old I'm meme where it has like the, I know this is cheesy, but I feel great, and it's like the, it's like the cheese grater. <laughs> That's funny. I gotta find the clip, but I just, I don't know why, but I always love it on Family Guy when uh, Peter's signing up for the Ren Fair. Yeah. yeah. Does the idea of a GS engine first get you sexually aroused? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Apparently, this is like a 3DS cheat device. Hey. I don't know. Corey gave it to me. He says he doesn't even know if he has all the pieces to it or had all the, you know. Or what all you have to do to work it. Well, obviously you put the cartridge slot in the big thing, but... You search for cheating? What does it say? Power saves. Oh. Uh, I'll okay. take it home, thank you. <laughs> There's future, inferno, and ruins. Uh, first question. Let's see. What comes to mind with... Let's see. If you think mission, go right. Hey, is that just like a Jew? It kind of seems like it. <sighs> Wait, was this, uh, hold on. Hey. Next question. What what comes to mind when you, uh, when you think of the word flame disaster seal and 10 years ago? Let's see. Well. <laughs> These are easy. Soul Anna. And the last one. Hey. Last question. What comes to mind when you think the words blue hit? Hatred, teamwork. <laughs> Hatred. <laughs> when you think blue hedgehog. I think hatred. Sheer hey. hatred. I've seen it to your heart. Nothing you have short of vitriol. However, looking back at the past, maybe. Great. Great. Six thousand. Where's my ring bonus? 
I need to pull it Not together. here. Well, apparently I did something wrong, because... <clears throat> how did I get a D rank for something like that? That, re that like... <laughs> uh... Sylvester. Hey, kitty cat. Sylvester just... You gonna tell us about it, Sylvester? Hey. He says, I went to the vet the other day, and they tried to kill me. <laughs> it's like how his... Did they? Did they try to kill you? It's like how he'll walk through, like, cobwebs and, like, not even care. It's just, he'll just have a bunch of cobweb on him. And he just won't even, like do anything about it. Look at this. What are you doing, Sylvester? I'm gonna look at my plan on my side. Oh, yeah. And he's trying to prop himself up. Hello. You're a little kid. Huh. What are you doing? Nemo Nemo. I see, uh, as a, let's see, today I saw, uh, Jay's Review's latest video, uh, about talking about the ranking system of, so of the Sonic games, but that's near here, okay. <laughs> I guess we're Buster and I are going to take a nap now. Okay. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, well, you're not allowed to go anywhere. That's basically what cats do when they land on you. He's like, you're captured, but only, you can only leave when they allow you to. Or they, they say you can. Or say you have to, I guess. Mm -hmm. Don't put your paw there, dude. <laughs> oh, well, sometimes he'll, uh, like, when I'm laying down, he comes up to me, he's like, he like puts his paw under me sometimes, I feel his claws a little bit, and he's like, yeah. and just casually does it, like, ow. Did I do it? Uh huh. Or did I do it? Oh my gosh, I did it. Have I though, have I proved myself? Silver. Perfect. So I did all that work and it felt like I was taking a, a bit of a long time and then the, I got an S there, but like the thing where I took like a very tiny amount of time to get through it, it, it was like, it was like, nah, D-Rank. <laughs> Sylvester. Cute. I save it just in case, cause you get kind of annoying to try and do those again. If I lose all I I mean I've got 17 to spare, so 17 extra lives. <laughs> you can hear Blaze in the background. Well if it's Math. <laughs> like Sylvester does sometimes. Sylvester, do you like Blaze? Do you think she's hot? What? I guess you could say Blaze is constantly in heat. Okay, I guess I didn't. Oh yeah, I think I need to. I need to contact the the American Eagle there. What? The the the, the eagle there that takes you. The bald eagle. Takes you to America. America. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I completely ignored this thing in the middle. Uh, wait. Yeah. Completely ignored this thing in the middle. Thank you, sir. Just pulls out a cut, like enemies start coming. <laughs> starts. <laughs> starts blazing. So, this is the second to final level for silver. 
circumstances have changed. We've already seen that cutscene. Fellow Eggman. S Sylvester. Darn it! I should have realized that man Now, Ken, it was your fault. <laughs> Oh yeah, so one thing I was also going to say was that Sonic Team decided, like, two big things that, uh, two, one massive thing and one pretty big thing that Sonic fans are wanting. Um, I know they've talked about possibly doing a Sonic Adventure remake at Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, but, um, there was one, at one point, uh, let's see, you know, everyone's, for like, over 20 years, uh, people have been asking for another Chow Garden, or possibly a Chow Garden dedicated game. Um, they said the only possibility for that is if they make a Sonic Adventure 3, which they say, which, here, here's what I've, here's what I've... We I, don't have any plans to make it, but I'm not saying it's impossible. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's basically what it is. So, like, they've said that about stuff, like, there are no, uh, so, like, every time it's brought up, it's like, we are, we are aware that everyone wants a Chow Garden. Are you going to bring back Chow Garden? No. That's essentially where it goes. It's like, we know that people want Chow Garden, so you're going to bring back? No. <laughs> the Pendulum could probably take out that power. Ha! Ha! The Pendulum could do it. I'll just use a box instead. <laughs> um. But, um. So, uh, what I was gonna say was, um, uh, was that, uh, people are also wanting, are people are also wanting a, um, like some remasters of, uh, of, um, Sonic Advance. They say, once again, we're not going to say it's impossible, we have no current plans to do it. Usually resulting in, there's like a, only like a 1% chance they'll actually do it. Many fans want that. No, we don't want to give it to them, we just want to give them the classic Sonic games again. I mean, they don't have any plans to do that right now, but uh -huh. like, you know. It's just, it's just that like, you think that you're kind of pulling a, a Nintendo right now by... You know, only giving some some things whenever they feel like it, you know. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm excited for Sonic X Shadow Generations, because we're essentially getting a brand new Shadow game. Sonic X Gener Shadow Generations. Yeah. We're essentially getting a brand new Shadow game, just not a full-on one, but it's, but, like, it's attached to another game. It's not just its own thing. It's, like, attached to, uh, to like, one of the best Sonic games. Definitely, definitely the best, uh, uh, boost formula Sonic game is, you know, Sonic Generations. But... Sonic Generations! But, like, yeah. But, like, it doesn't seem like it would be that hard to have a remaster of... I mean, I, I'm no programmer of, of any kind, but, like... It doesn't seem like it would be that hard to re-release those games. Like, I, th I think, like... I think even if you just re-release them, if you, even if you just change minor things, then even, uh, I mean, people will probably like widescreen, but I think people will be satisfied enough, but, like, just kind of change some things that, you, that, that, like, you just can't access anymore, or that you can't access because it's, it's a, uh, you know, it's not on PBA. And one of the things they probably take out is the Child Garden, ironically. Um... Now maybe, maybe they'll be having some sort of, I mean this would, this would be pretty cool, like if they had some sort of like, if they had Sonic Adventure remakes, um, Sonic Adventures 1 and 2, and then they had, uh, 
the, the advanced games to like, you know, if they have a child garden and like you can do unlock certain things with the advanced games and have the child garden and all that. But you know, they'll probably they'll probably end up uh, because this isn't the two uh, thousands anymore. They'll probably just uh, release the the game separately. They won't put them together. They'll release a Sonic Adventure remake and then a Sonic Adventure Two remake. No, they'll, they'll do a Sonic Adventure remake, and Sonic Adventure Two remake, and then you can buy DLC packs for the uh, Adventure Two Battle <laughs> DLC and the Adventure DX DLC. Well, that's kind of what they did with uh, the digital one they released on PS3 and 360. I know. Of course, I think that was more like the different modes. Like, it didn't like change the graphics or anything. It was the same game. They just wait. Then what changed? Uh, I think they added. There were some things that the only DX had that you know. Such as. I'm trying to remember that. That's the thing. I'm trying to remember what it was. I think the. Such I think the. I think the adventure mode, or I mean the the mission mode. I mean, was not included in, in you know. Um, and like I think some of the multiplayer stuff was not in uh, the original uh, Adventure 2, so that's what the battle DLC was for, uh, yeah. Um, so we were saying that 25 years ago when I bought those off the PSN, I didn't have to do that. Oh, you mean, uh, well, I mean, if you didn't care about everything, you know. Um, Adventure 2, uh, I remember a long time ago when I got those, when I had both those games on Dreamcast and, like, Adventure 1 was pretty cheap, I can't remember exactly, but it was really cheap, probably partially because it didn't work all the way, it was kind of, it was scratched to where I couldn't play all the campaigns, but Adventure 2 was 20 bucks. And it didn't even have it didn't have the uh, the it didn't come with the case. Adventure two was was definitely like uh, Sonic Adventure one was there was a pretty big night and day difference between. I guess I don't need to stand on it. Okay, I guess not. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. There's a pretty big, like, night and day difference between, uh, the, uh, you know, Dreamcast version of Adventure and, uh, Adventure 2. Uh -huh. or, I mean, and, and, of, uh, 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 DX. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Adventure 2, you have to kind of look a little more to really notice the difference. They're pretty much, those are pretty much the same. Like, it's almost like a direct port. I'm not really sure why they changed the graphics as much as they did for DX. I mean, honestly... What the, changed? So, like, okay, so a lot of, like, the models changed, for one thing, or at least the way they did it. Um, they looked a lot closer. They looked like more like a brand new game, or, you know, at the time, brand new game. Um, the what, did? The DX one, like they, they changed the models. Mm -hmm. They they're a little they're not as blobby in the DX version. Uh -huh. And the but the textures were lower, I think. Like textures were changed and look so the textures didn't look as good, but the models were better. And it was the other way around for the Dreamcast version. Where the textures look better, but and like, you know, some things were really more like reflective and stuff. But like it's just that the models didn't look as good as in DX. I don't know if that was a GameCube thing or what, but, you know. Like, then you have the, then you have the argument of which is better, Adventure or Adventure 2. Uh, Adventure 2? Yeah. I think so too, it's, there's some people that to say like, oh, that open design of Adventure 1 was better. I'm like, I could see it, but I don't know. I, I just like Adventure 2 more. It's because they, they took a lot of... <laughs> <clears throat> the only thing that, it, that would have made Adventure 1's open design better 
Let's see if you could have done some pigs out of order. Yeah. Yeah, it was still, it was, honestly, it still was pretty linear, all things considered. Uh -huh. Just that the design of Adventure 2 was more linear. It's more, I guess you could say it's more clearly linear, or, you know, linear. Yeah. Let's see. Come with me, eggs. Come with me, egg. It sounds like something that Idris Alba Knuckles would say. Oh, yeah. Come on, fuck. That was... Great. Uh, it's syntax though. Not these though. That was. Let's we'll blame Andrew for that. That was all Andrew's fault. How dare Andrew? Um. Well, it's a good thing that's my secondary mic now. It's not my main mic now. So, um, I deeply apologize to those who may have heard that through the, uh, the mic, who may have heard that. Let's see here. Alright. There we go. So, uh, I'm not sure what game we're gonna play after we're done with Sonic 06. We'll figure it out. Probably, it'll, probably the next time will be an Andrew game. Thinking maybe a short game like Dragon Quest 11 or <laughs> <clears throat> maybe all the DLC in Fallout in Vegas. <laughs> uh, perhaps. Uh, Final Fantasy Twelve or um Hmm Star Ocean <laughs> Holy Christmas <laughs> So does that game is does it just take a while like the, the main story takes a while or, or, or were you doing like all the side stuff when you were I did practically no side stuff. It's just that that game takes that long. Part of it is the grind, man. I mean it's just Here's the thing. Here's what's like, you gotta grind a lot. And one of the most frustrating things is there are some random difficulty spikes. Oh, I, I think what makes it the hardest. Or the longest or whatever. Yeah, is that when people aren't in your party, they don't get experience points. Oh, that's cool. So, in the game, you know, you have your cousin Sophia. He's with you for like the first 30 minutes and then just disappears for like 10 15 hours of the game. And then you reunite with her. You're about level 30. She's level 1. Cool. And she's very powerful if you level her up. So you spend hours. Or AVGN, you spent hours yeah. <laughs> getting her to level 30 with you. Alright? She's like your best magic user. And does healing magic, okay? Right. Now, there's a battle on the planet Styx you have to do. She's not with you for that battle. That battle was a nightmare because I spent all this time getting her stronger. And, and then you break into the headquarters of the video game that you find out the game's world takes place in. <laughs> and you're trying to stop the person who runs the game from shutting the game down. And, uh... My goodness, is it brutal. So, did you ever actually beat the game? No! <laughs> I have a save file that I know I'm, like, within a few hours of beating it. But I have to grind again, and I just haven't wanted to go back. <laughs> John Mary, you played the heck out of that game. And I never got far, because it takes till the end of time to beat. <laughs> you spend the whole fracking game on Elicor 2, it feels like. <laughs> you do spend a disproportionate amount of time there. That part is yeah. true. But I want to beat it. I like the setting. I'm interested in the game. It's just... It I'm frustrated. Yeah. 
if they would, okay. If they could give me, I, I know it's already kind of, it's, it's on available on like PS5, PS4, because of the you know PS2 on PS4 type of deal. Oh, it is on there. Yeah, PS2 on PS4. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's the thing. I would play it if I, I would be willing to run through the game again if a it didn't take so darn long to level up and or if you got more. Or if at least your teammates leveled up even when they weren't in battle. Yeah. They should do some sort of like remake of that game where it has that kind of stuff. Remastered. Like yeah, that's what I need. Like, I could even deal with a grind if it was just less of it. <laughs> but you know what's stupid is I kind of want to play through it again. <laughs> Why? But I'm gonna have to be more strategic about it. Like, it just... You have to grind. Or either that or I've been playing the game wrong for the past... 16 years. Look up on how, how long to be. There's a thing called, it's just all together, like, how long to be, and then type in that game to see what the average... Joe was, uh... Takes him how long. Have you been on that laptop before? No. Yeah, basically it can show, like, you know, average length of certain games. That's how I found out that Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. 46 hours. Oh, 60 hours. There we go. 60 hours. Well, okay. Main main objective is 46 hours. I don't know how people... Well, I don't know. I Okay. Here's my big gaming plan here. I want to beat... When I uh, starting next month, I'm gonna start going through the Ratchet and Clank games. I'm gonna play the original, uh, 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 Going Commando, Up Your Arsenal, Deadlocked, Future Tools of Destruction, Quest for Butthole, uh, a <laughs> uh, 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 Crack in the Butt of Time. Uh, into the Netscape. I, I, I'm guessing you're skipping the uh, the all for one and. Uh, yeah, I don't like the gameplay. Well, just look at the cutscenes, I guess. <laughs> and uh, are oh, sure? wait, is there a story element to it? Is like story yeah, matter? There's so uh, well, I mean, for some things, I mean, just, just look at the cutscenes online. I mean, you know. Maybe I'll try them if the story matters. I didn't think the story mattered. Though. Are there physical copies of those? Of uh, all for one. Yeah, or full frontal. Yeah. Actually, I saw one at, uh... The case? Yeah, I saw one at the case. How much? How much? Maybe 20? Somewhere around 20 bucks? Oh! Looks like I'm on a roll! But, I mean, like, honestly, with at least... Honestly, those games are very, like... Like, you can play them single player, but they're definitely a thing that encourages multiplayer. So if you just wanted to watch the cutscenes for those, I would understand that. It's not like the story matters to the point where it's just like, you, you just have no clue what's going on. If you skip them, but... It's definitely encouraging to just, you know... Elise! Elise! I can't remember if, uh... Silver has any uh if if this if this is a silver extended cut. <laughs> extended Ellie. silver cut. Wait. There's still a way to change this. How? If we return to an earlier point in time, we'll be able to save her. It doesn't matter. It's no use. I understand. I was at uh, Spirit Halloween, and I saw a pair of, uh, I think they were, they were kids' sizes, but they, there was a pair of Sonic shoes there at the... At the... Chaos Control! Where? It's fair Halloween. Oh. Uh. 
silver. Silver. I could handle this myself. Besides, you've got somewhere to go, right? You. you. I gotta go. You. Sure, to change Elisa's fate, and that in turn should change your future too. <laughs> Thank you, Silver. Yeah, just save her. Let's see. Is there more to this cutscene? Yep. Unless we already saw this bar, I can't remember for sure. So they go to different points in time than Sonic. <laughs> and this is where we go to the final level. But for Silver. I know how to save our world now. We don't have to change the past. I'm sure of it. Your mom doesn't so have to change past. Well then, let's hurry. I sense his flames. Even though we're we're actually still changing the, <laughs> still changing the past, or you know, I can feel it. It's in my kittiness. Yeah. Yeah. Just it's just like imagining just Blaze just at random moments. Just, yeah. 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 <laughs> Try to get on the meow. I'm coming, Iblis. I'm the Iblis trigger. Ah. So. Do you ever pay attention to like how big the stuff is in uh, Tomb Raider 2? How, like whenever you go in Laura's home, like how it, it's like how like the sink is massive and the you know in her in her kitchen and stuff. Oh, well, actually, in a big rich person's house like that, like that kind of rich, yeah. it's not uncommon to have a large sink. You're preparing and cleaning a lot of dishes. Ah, you see, big dining halls. But I mean, if you look at it, it still looks kind of e even with that. It still looks you know, pretty big compared to, like, you know... No, they made it big enough for her to jump into. That'd be different. Well, I mean, you can jump into it, but... <laughs> but, um... Yeah, but I meant, like, where it goes into, like, her waist or something. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a comically large sink. Because <laughs> they were joking around about that on, uh... Jeez, on... you just disintegrated that guy. I oh, know. They were kind of joking around about that on, um, uh... On, on Oni Plays when they are playing the, the remaster, the trilogy, and like, and, and like, uh, I can't remember his name, I keep forgetting, uh, but, but like the, uh, the, well, I mean, Chris O'Neill is definitely Irish, but like, he, he's got one that's, he's got a friend who definitely has the Irish accent. Uh, the Irish accent? Yeah. Like, like, there's just an Irish guy that sounds just like that. Yeah. Like, it also almost sounds like like off-brand Irish. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I was just thinking about like how uh, he goes, uh, he was talking about, look how big everything is, and, it's just a, and he says something like, uh, you can watch a young cop in there. <laughs> it's just, it, it's like, just the way he said it was really funny. It's, it, you know, it's just also bringing that up and talking about how big the sink is. You could watch a young cop in there. I wonder if that Wukong game is as good as people are saying. Um, the monkey one? Uh-huh. Um... Bug Buggy. Buggy. It looks interesting, it's just... It, I heard it was really difficult, and I don't want to play it if it's going to be really difficult. I don't want to get too attached to the idea if it's going to break my heart about being too difficult. <laughs> That's partially why I still haven't really played through the, uh, the... Um, the, like, the, the XB alternate ending thing for, uh, um, Sonic Frontiers, just because I hear it's extremely difficult. 
It's like the the base game is really easy, and then the and then that is like the opposite. Okay, I think uh, of course uh, of course Jay from Jay's review didn't like uh, didn't like uh, Sonic Frontiers all that much. His opinion was absolute crap, but that's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there. Yeah. I mean, I agree it has a lot of flaws, but it's just, it's, I greatly, I think one of the things that helps me enjoy it as much as I do, there are certain games I just enjoy where, like, if it's an open, a more open game, like, how fun is it to just screw around? How fun is it just to run around at the speed of sound and, you know... Fun and around at the speed of sound. <laughs> like, it, and it's, it, and it is, that, that's the thing, is that it's fun that way. It's fun, it, the, I have fun doing that in Sonic Frontiers. Um... So you can imagine why I love GTA so much, because there's so much you can do to just screw around, drive around, shoot people, uh, knock people, <laughs> make yourself trip over for some reason you can do that. Uh, like where you jump and then press B or something like that and you just, you just make, or jump or whatever and like, and like make them trip and fall. Like there's just l little amusing things like that. And I feel like, I feel like GTA 5 at least is the right balance of trying to be realistic but remembering that it's a video game. So they like still have enough video game feeling, video game feeling, to uh, you know, have it maybe feel like a video game. No matter how many of you come, it's a waste of time. Love you, come. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. What don't I? Mean? So, uh, I wonder how many people have played to the original Tomb Raider games and realized, man, these these were definitely of their time. <laughs> you know? And see, that's a, that's a case of... Now, there's still some people that enjoy it, but, like, that's a case of, like... That, that's, like, my thing where, where, like, I'm sure there's some people saying, oh, the, the, the remasters are worse than the originals. Even though it's literally the same games, just improved controls, or or you know they still have the option for the for the crap controls that were, you know, because it was early 3D gaming. Um, but like you know, you look. I at, don't understand people that justify the original Tomb Raider controls in this day and time. Like yeah. I, I can't fathom the, every argument I've ever heard in favor of tank 3D controls like that. Are, are, are dumb. I know what they're going for when they talk about it with Resident Evil, but I mean, it's still dumb, but like... It is a little more forgivable there, as the horror inability to control things is part of the theme. But... For, like, Tomb Raider... What are they doing? What are they doing when they defend That's it? part of it. But, like... Like, um, here's my thing, though, it's like, when they, when they re-release a game, it could be the exact same game, but they improve the controls. Like, they actually improve it, but because it's different, they're like, oh, it's worse! You know, the game is ruined because the controls are better. It's ruined! Because, like, I've heard some people say that about the GoldenEye re-release, because it was different. Uh, pe some people didn't like it as much. But I I know what it is though, or I, I can I can like pretty I can take a wild guess of like it's probably that they grew when they grew up with the original version they learned all the controls and how to do things and they got so used to it that you can like, adjust to its crap factor like yeah A A A A A yeah so like what the heck is this. <laughs> I'm not gonna get in my way. Don't 
the power glove. Oh yeah. So, yeah. You know that that really helped. Like I remember when we were coming home from Chattanooga. Uh, that really helped. You know, like um, pass the time. Yeah. Just watching his like, or at least listening to all those like Evagian. Afghan. Yeah, Afghan episodes. Cool. Um, you can probably get over to that. Uh, these levels look like a mess. Like, I get uh, every Sonic level in Modern Games has a lot of weird stuff going on, but, like, what the heck? <laughs> what am I watching? Um, worst game. T -t 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 worst <clears throat> game. No other game has weird stuff like this. No other, there are no other bad video games. <laughs> There, well, there are bad ones, uh, but this one's the worst. So yeah, yesterday I watched all three Dark Knight movies in one day. I did do that. It's only about a seven-hour endeavor. Uh, okay, so so it's not like a Lord of the Rings type of deal. <laughs> I swear, it's like a badge of honor that I wear. That you watch them all in one day. Yeah, all the extended cuts in one day. Because okay. uh, okay, let, let, me, let me look up some run times. Shower. <laughs> you ever watch the Hobbit movies? Yes. I didn't like them. They were stretched out too. They took a story that was not long enough and stretched out too long. Uh. Almost the entire third movie was one giant battle. Huh. So, so it was like a, it was like a, a it Dragon Ball. Should have been one movie. So it was like a Dragon Ball season. Two. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't have music going dun -a and dun -a and dun -a and dun -a yeah. in the background. <laughs> Which now, for some reason, I really want to hear that music. Just because it's so good. It, it's dumb, but it's so good at the same time. But that's so dumb. Going into the volcano, Silver was found dead the next day. Okay. I'm going to oh. pull all these up. No. I'm going to pull all these up. No. We. Okay. So. <laughs> Here is why it takes a while to watch all of the Lord of the Rings movies in all the extended cuts in one day. Because the first movie is three hours and forty or in twenty-eight minutes long. No, sorry. Uh yeah, three hours and twenty-eight minutes long. The second movie is two hours and fifty-nine minutes long. And the third movie is four hours and twenty-three minutes. <laughs> so adding so, okay, all that so up. if we just add the raw hours at first, so that's three, two, and four. So what? That's uh, that's like it's nine hours. Yes, yeah, four, two. So six. Yeah, nine hours. Actually, we have fifty-nine minutes. Let's just make it three. So it's three hours. Here would be six, ten hours. And then add another 48 minutes, and then another 23 minutes to that. So you're looking at like a little over 11 hours of just straight runtime without breaks. <laughs> so if you just Almost take half the day. if you take moderate breaks, and I mean like between each film, maybe 10 minutes, you're yeah. still looking at almost 12 hour endeavor. <laughs> Of just sheer watch time. What is this music? Alright, 
carry this with me. I'm gonna just noodle around with a guitar. Okay, I've never heard of Brawlhalla until this morning. Oh yeah, this game has been out for years. But apparently it's getting some Mega Man crossover away. It's a game? Yeah. I didn't even know it was a game, I just... It's it's free to play. I think you can buy it, though. You can buy it and play it offline, I think. But it, it's mainly a free to play game. And it had it's one of the first guest character they had was uh, Rayman. So, like... It has all kinds of different characters. It has, like, it has, like Adventure Time characters. It has, it's had, like, Kung Fu Panda. Uh... I just, I'd never heard of it this morning until I was, you know, we have our student center and church are a few hundred feet apart, and I was driving some of our middle schoolers back, and they were telling me about Brawlhalla, and I, I, I thought it was just some YouTube video reference, and so I was like, like, based on, like, Brawlhalla? Like, can they? Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, it, it's it's fine, <coughs> but um, when I played, so you can actually play as all the characters they have if you're only doing the practice mode. <laughs> if you don't, you have to like buy all the you know. You can only play as so many characters in the like. Well, what's the gameplay like? Smash Bros. Like, has a similarity to Smash. So like, is it 2D or 3D? It's 2D graphics. So like, I can use Mega Man to fight Shrek? Awesome. Uh, I can't remember if Shrek is in that game. Oh man, I can use Mega Man to fight uh, <laughs> Mr. Douglas? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> From Green Acres. Just all these characters <clears throat> here. Yeah, I want like a Super Nintendo era graphics type of look, but it just have all these old school TV stars too. Like, <laughs> like the character. Uh, like the skipper from Gilligan's Island, yeah, versus George Jetson, or like you know, <laughs> Mr. Spacely <laughs> versus <laughs> Reba McIntyre. Who? Reba McIntyre. Uh, this is like a country singer oh. and freaking a TV show too. She had a TV show called Reba. Oh yeah, oh her. That's yeah, her. yeah. Uh, and then I want to be able to use uh, Philip Banks from Fresh Prince versus um, <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine <laughs> to get some super autism going. Yeah. <laughs> but they needs but they needs to be like it, it needs to be like a uh, Marvel versus Capcom type of. Uh, uh, Multi multiple character fighters, so you know, so like Thomas can have Percy come in as an assist. Oh, character. yeah. Can you imagine how you could manage to set a game up like that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> all the all the rice they'd have to get. I got to hide back it here. Seems like the attacks come in regular intervals. I'm a there we go. So you kind of have to like wait a little bit, but like I remember having so much trouble with this whenever I was playing it, like left, doing a let's play last time years ago. Do I care? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, I'm just a little. Mean. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Start crying. Heated, and we should apologize yeah. to each other. I think things get a little heated. <laughs> <laughs> Hurt. <laughs> Gotta wait for the wait for the flames. Flames. Sizzle and dizzle. Flames. I think it might be automatic death that that hits you, or maybe you just lose your rings. I can't remember for sure. Let's see here. Can I need body wash? Like body wash. Body wash. <laughs> body wash. <laughs> body wash. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know why, where, why wash? Why not? I would have looked that up. A car wash. Ah. 
Okay, apparently the animation, the animation was done. Let's go. There we go. Did they do that? Yeah, there we go. Just as I expected. They're just standing there, just as I expected. Alright, so, um, yeah, I like how the camera was still, like, it's still, you know, alright, is the ring gonna show up anytime soon? Uh. Oh, no, I gotta go up to it. Now all I have to do is take him down! Take him down! This way, or where did I come from that way? Okay, something was just randomly blocking the path. Great! <sighs> now on to the final battle. That was easy. Silver, that was a lie. You know it. So, why is it every time I try to find out what exact the Gamergate was, yeah. or the fact that there's a Gamergate 2, I never get a clear answer? So apparently it had something to do with... Hold on, wait till I this cutscene. She's like, no, I want to know now. On, People act like it was a battlefield, and I, I don't, I don't get it. You. If I know this correctly, I could be completely wrong. But apparently, Gamer Gate, the, like the name and stuff, at least comes from like gamers trying to gate the people from like ruining the games or something, uh, something along those lines. I would assume it's called Gamer Gate as a reference to Watergate. Well, I mean that may be part of it too. Um, I don't know. I, was, I, I just, I, it's confusing. Here I come, Iblis. Be your end. Uh, well, the walk's back in him. Dodge ball. It looks like he's getting closer to his final form. Be in trouble if you, let you mean this isn't even his final form? Ten breakfast cereals that sound like a Mormon swearing after stepping gone a Lego. What? <laughs> Babylon B article. <laughs> what? Why? Freaking Babylon B. Okay, these big creatures. Honey bun. Okay, with things like honey bunches of oats, crunch berries, and sprinkle spangles. <laughs> All done. So he's doing that, that thing that, you know, an anime, whoa, you know. This is so dumb. <laughs> Crispy critters. Honey bunches of oats. Oh, Money, this is supposed to be like a word that they would say after having stepped on a Lego. <laughs> Grape nuts. Mueslix. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cracklin' Oat Bran. Apple Jacks, Sprinkles, Spangles, Crunch Berries, and Wheaties Dunkaballs. <laughs> What's that listening. last one that says, This type of obscenity should only be reserved for stepping on the sharpest Lego bricks. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? Right. What the heck? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, so I really thought it really sounded like, I knew she didn't say it, but it really sounded like she said, he's going to try to destroy the football this time. She said foothold, but like, so at least it makes some sense to uh, sound like that, but like, he's going to try to destroy the football. Ha ha ha! 
actually, uh, I have a an app an app called yeah. Movie Buddy, and you now you can keep track of what you have. Uh huh. Because like when you forgot you had a Hercules, it might have been hidden Blueberry behind coffee. other things when I had gotten it. Uh, but yeah, I uh, it even I can even track what what format each thing is, DVD or Blu-ray. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Because I was thinking you already had a big trouble in Little China. I don't. I thought I did, but I couldn't find it. Oh. Okay. Just a little more. I will end this now. Just a little more. I will end it now. Well, I guess I can end it now by. Just a if little I now. I can end it more. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, I did it. And that's the end of Silver's campaign. Well, after the cutscenes. Uh, it's like that one that one creature from uh that lava creature from Jack and Daxter one comes up. I don't know, maybe think of that. It's like that shows up and then like suddenly Clancy Brown's voice shows like up everywhere and, you know. I have 32,666 rings. Oh, yeah? Last episode is now unlocked. Please select the episode from single player. No, I was gonna do it with multiplayer. Oh, here's the new graphics again. Chaos Emeralds, lend me your power. Eternal Sun! living flame that has been entrusted to the royal family. Fall into slumber with my soul, Iblis, you cursed flames of disaster! No! Why won't it accept me as the vessel? And then Blaze is like... Blaze! I'll take Iblis. Don't worry. My soul is already a lit with flames. I will be accepted. Come on. Make it quick. Use your chaos control to stop the hive. Then steal it from the direction. No. What tronic soap dispenser you can get where the soap comes out of a pigeon's butthole? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> this math seems funny. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I wouldn't know what to do without you. Even though I've gone through most of the game without you. You're my friend, right? No, I hated you, my still so naive. Where did she die? I, uh, it's hard to tell. Like it's really weird. I definitely wasn't looking and I don't know what's going on. Okay, I look away for a minute and now, like, Blaze is having emerald dust go through her and she's turning to stone <laughs> and floating away. I have no idea what's going on. Is she like a force ghost now? It just meows away. So do we get, like... Okay, so she's a force ghost. Do we get, like, uh, Sonic with lightsabers? Uh, maybe. We might get Shadow with lightsabers. Why would we get Shadow with lightsabers? Because he's actually willing to use more weapons. So it's, it's really unclear if she actually died or if she was just sent to another dimension or whatever, because... English boys that the uh, character voices, Lacey Chavez, Princess Elise, Louise Lynn, Mike Pollock, Grant Green, Jason Griffith, Amy Planet, I don't know, I don't know, that's not what it says, it's just Amy Plant. The Silver's theme. I've heard a couple of people try to say, well, it's just the name Silver's gay or something. I'm just like, what are you talking about? 
This music sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the now in 2006. I, there's a thing from Pokemon. It looks like Gen 2. Yeah. I don't. This says, I don't care if a Growlithe ate your homework and an immigrant ate the Growlithe. <laughs> oh my gosh. This <laughs> 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 says, there are two wolves inside of me, and it's got a My Little Pony boombox and the music's going, Orr! It's just like, like, just ridiculous metal. You know, the, the, um, Teen Titans Go has apparently had some different, um, crossover episodes, uh, and Powerpuff Girls was one of them. Of course, I mean, you know, it, it yeah, yeah, but it, it was like the newer Powerpuff Girls. What about that awful show they were gonna, the awful live action show they were gonna try to do? I forgot about that. Yeah, they got canceled. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. Do, 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 something like that. I'm gonna go to the music. Yamoto. Is that a relative? Yamoto. Yeah. Hana. Canadian guy, movie engineer. And every night Sega Motion Capture Team presents. Dancer? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what they're talking about, I think. Double O Buck. We have teams. Special thanks. No one else gets special thanks. Screw them. Or if it was like, credits, everyone gets a special thanks. Sega Corporation, Japan. <sighs> so yeah, it seems like uh, it's, it's up to the fans to make their own uh, Child Garden game. I know there there are like a couple of games that have attempted that. There's one that's supposed to be coming out from the from a game company by uh, Chatronic on YouTube. Um, where he's, it's, uh, Hoglings, uh -huh. I think that's what it's called, and, if I remember correctly, and it has to do with the, uh, and he basically made it because he loved the Chow Garden so much. Um, I'm just gonna skip the rest of that. So, uh, yeah, so that game, I was a little excited for it, and I was thinking about, at the time, about donating money to it, to, uh, you know, with, with the crowdfunding stuff, but, um, I ended up, I ended up just being like, eh, 
you know, I, or I, I didn't really have the money, and I, I was like, I started thinking, I was like, what if this thing doesn't happen? <laughs> so I was just like, eh. Um, but next time, we'll be finishing up Sanic 06. Because the last story is essentially just one playthrough that we've been doing, so. Um, so, whenever that'll come out, that'll come out whenever it comes out. But until then, uh, Andrew has this to just throw up. Ha 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 ha!